The main trump card of Clio can be called its bright and stylish appearance. Apparently, this is why the majority of buyers of this small car are women, who, according to statistics, are more likely to choose compact models from France. The car is produced in the form of three and five door hatchbacks, as well as a station wagon. The range of engines is represented by petrol, force, with a volume of 1.2 liters, 65 and 75 horsepower, 1.4 L, 98 horsepower, and 1.6 L, 112 horsepower. Turbo diesels are represented by 1.5 liter units, 68.86 and 106 horsepower. With all engines, except for the most powerful diesel, equipped with a 6-speed manual gearbox, a 5-speed mechanics is combined. A 1.6 liter is available with the range automatic. In 2007, the line expanded with a 1.2 liter turbo engine, 100 horsepower. At the same time, a robotic 5-speed manual appeared, which equipped the version with a 1.2 liter engine, 75 horsepower. Inside, the Clio makes just as good an impression as it does on the outside. A solid front panel, made of plastic that is soft both in appearance and to the touch, organically contrasts with the center console made of metalized plastic, on expensive versions. In general, the interior is quite rich, as is now fashionable among manufacturers of compact models. Renault Clio pleases with well-designed ergonomics. Armchairs, with an optimal profile, embossed back in a long pillow, and developed lateral support reliably keeps riders in turns. The seats come standard with four mechanical adjustments, and the pedals are fairly loose for such a compact car. It is quite convenient to manipulate the controls of all systems and modes, the instruments are easy to read, unless the radio buttons are too small to understand them while driving. For a subcompact car, the Renault Clio is not badly equipped. For example, already in the basic configuration of Authentic there were air conditioning, power accessories, a pair of airbags. In addition, 15-inch wheels and electric power steering are standard on the runabout. In the secondary market, there are often instances with climate control and side silencers, rain and light sensors. Gasoline engines, which were not delivered to us with other Clios, are quite reliable. True, due to Russian gasoline, injection nozzles become clogged after 30,000 to 40,000 kilometers. Their cleaning will cost an average of 2,000 rubles. Ignition coils, from 1650 rubles, are afraid of moisture and, as a rule, they fail from getting into the hearth. Keep this in mind if you decide to wash the engine. The disadvantages include oil leaks from the floor of the crankcase gasket and the front crankshaft oil seal. Flyers themselves cost a penny, but the work to eliminate this defect is estimated at an average of 10,000 rubles. All Renault engines love branded service. For example, replacing a timing belt in Uncle Vaj's garage can end very badly for a car, since there are no marks on the crankshaft and camshaft. In a mechanical box, the gear lever becomes loose over time. Replacing the bushings of the backstage of the mechanism will cost only 1200 to 1500 rubles. The suspension will not lift any surprises either. Only the stabilizer struts change periodically. Engine. The most popular engine is a 1.4 liter. With it, Clio is very dynamic and fast, maximum speed is minus 183 kilometers per hour. True, the engine is extremely demanding on the quality of gasoline. There have been cases when several fillings with surrogate fuel led to the valves jamming in their guides, repair, from 16,500 rubles. Gearboxes When choosing a modification with a robotic manual gearbox, it is necessary to make a test drive, this transmission shifts gears with jerks, which will not suit every potential buyer. Electrical Equipment In electrical equipment, various sensors, regulators, and limit switches often oxidize and fail. Restoring contact in the mains or replacing mechanisms is not too troublesome and not expensive. Suspension. McPherson struts are installed in the front suspension. And behind, a semi-dependent beam on springs. The most popular parts in the warehouses of the dealer are racks, from 1890 rubles, and bushings, from 460 rubles, of the stabilizer. Every 20,000 to 30,000 kilometers it is necessary to change the brake pads, 2,870 rubles. Body. The body of the Clio resists rust quite well, but if the copy you bought is not equipped with mudguards, it is better to install them right away. Otherwise, the paint from the thresholds and wheel arches will soon fly around. 